Welcome back to Teresa's Den. My name is Teresa and I'm very much hands. Hi. I have an awful garbage filthy mouth so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Hello my little babies. I'm so excited for today's video because your girl was in her feelings and I just want, I wanted to buy stuff, okay? I couldn't help it. I just wanted to buy stuff and I, I, I bought it all. I bought it all. I closed down Sephora and Ulta. <laughs> so in today's video, I'm going to be showing you what exactly I picked up from Sephora and Ulta as well as one indie brand because it finally came into the mail and I'm so excited to use it. But before I show you the goods, because baby... I got the goods. A couple things I want to say. One, please don't take this video as me bragging. It's not about that. Y'all know I have two jobs. And if you didn't know, hey, I have two jobs. I don't have kids. I could do whatever I want with my money. It's beautiful. So please don't take this as me like, oh my God, look how cool I am. I'm, I'm not really that cool. I'm actually very, very overrated. So don't be jealous. Seriously, do, don't be jealous. Look at me, okay? <laughs> is all I have. <laughs> and also just don't get weird. Just don't get weird in the comments. Just like, just, you know, if people just get weird about hauls and stuff. Like just chill, just chill. Listen, we're just all trying to have good fun here, okay? Relax, stop being you for two seconds. Now, before I show you everything, a word from today's sponsor. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring yet another one of my garbage videos. I love and appreciate you. So let me ask you a question. Are you tired of sacrificing your precious time with your lack of culinary skills? Are you exhausted paying so many fees for delivery apps? Me too, okay? <laughs> Me too. So fear not, my little lamb, because Factor is here to save us. Y'all know I've been talking about Factor for a while now, and they have literally rescued me from culinary doom and gloom. With their meal delivery service, I say goodbye to bad decisions and bland food. Not only does Factor save my taste buds, but I just love the fact that every week I can rely on them showing up right at my doorstep. It's like magic. And since discovering this service, I don't find myself wandering through grocery store aisles, questioning the meaning of life, or better yet, feeling that existential dread when I ask Alex, hey, do you need any help? And he says, sure. And I go, oh, that's a bad idea because I like my fingers and I don't want them to be missing. With Factor, you get fresh, never frozen meals ready in just two minutes. So all you have to do is one, pick out which one you're gonna eat, put it in the microwave, heats up in two minutes and poof, you're done. I have never had a meal service so fast in my life. What keeps me coming back to Factor is not only that it's saving me time and money, but it's the sheer variety. You can choose from over 34 chef prepared, dietitian approved weekly options that fit various lifestyles, such as keto, calorie smart, vegan, veggie, and protein plus. And each week I can choose different meals so I never feel like I'm eating the same thing over and over again. Now I have tried other meal services that are similar to this and my biggest complaint was that it was always the same meal over and over again. And with Factor, I don't think I eat the same thing twice. It actually kind of makes me sad though because there are some meals that I'm like, I could eat this forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever. So when those meals pop up like the spicy sweet potatoes, oh my God. Y'all, okay, stop what you're doing. If you see the spicy sweet potatoes, get like three of them. <laughs> you will regret nothing. But anyway, from ground pork and cheddar chili mac to spicy poblano beef to coconut lime curry tofu, they're all winners, baby. And for that, Factor will forever be my go-to lunch of choice. Now, I would be remiss if I didn't mention their beautiful add-ons. In addition to picking out your meals, you can also add additional meals and snacks. So if you're looking for quick breakfast options like coconut pancakes with pineapple butter and chicken sausage, or a great afternoon pick-me-up like the delicious smoothies, which again, it is my three o'clock, okay? <laughs> I actually have a little alarm set on my phone. Three o'clock is smoothie time and it's the best thing ever, okay? It gets me through those long meandering meetings when it should have been an email. But what's even cooler is if, okay, say you don't want that, you can also add proteins. They also have chicken wings. You can just add them. How amazing is that? I love when options are endless. So this July, get Factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle. Head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code TERESASDEAD50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Again, that's factor75.com or click the link below and use code TERESASDEAD50 to get 50% off your first Factor box. Thank you again to Factor for sponsoring today's video and y'all go support the sponsors that support your garbage queen and get those spicy potatoes. First and foremost, I apologize. My nails look a little janky. They're kind of chipping a little bit. I know, you know me, I like to have really good nails. I've just been a busy working lady and it's been hard to like do them. So uh, I have a couple of chips here. So I do apologize in advance. I don't like this either, okay? <laughs> I don't like this either. So without further ado, let me show you the first indie brand and then I'm just gonna show you all the other shit. 
Y'all, I am so excited for this. And I finally picked up this one too. So if you've never heard of this brand, they're called Cosmic Brushes. I've literally heard everybody and their fucking mother talk about this brand, saying how wonderful they are. And I finally, finally got the chance to pick one of these babies up. I've been hounding, looking, wanting to touch this for so long now, and it's just been impossible. Every time I try to get this palette, it's fucking sold out in a second. So this is a Serenity palette. It's gorgeous. It, it honestly, it's the fucking prettier in person than it is online. I cannot wait to slap this all over my body. But the palette that really is like exciting me, okay, really, can you get back, stop embarrassing me. Okay. <laughs> the palette that really is just making me so like, ugh, my makeup dick is throbbing. This is the Delicious Delights, right? Is that what it's called? Yep, Delicious Delights. Look at this bitch. Look at this bitch. 90s who? I can't. And if you look closely, you got a little multi-chrome in there too. Look how fucking cute this is. I really don't want to touch anything. Like I want to keep things pristine, but I kind of need to touch that. <laughs> I kind of need to touch this shade. Oh, bitch. Okay, that's orgasmic. Oh, that is, okay, you know what? You know what? You know what? I under, oh, okay, hold on. Now I need to touch the other one. Wait a second. A lot of people have been talking about wonderful things. Oh God. Oh, you know what? Let's do this one down here. Oh, should I do this one? No, let's do this one. Oh, okay. This video is going to be 25 hours long. Fuck. Oh my God. Hold on. I just want to make it a little bit more. Since it's lighter, you have to kind of build it up just a little bit as opposed to this one, which is literally like one swipe, which I find that's usually the case when it's like these kind of molten lava jeweled multi-chromes. But this purple, holy shit, she does not disappoint. Oh my God, hold on. Let's see, let's try a matte. Wow, okay, okay. Oh, you smooth. Oh, you smooth. Okay, okay, listen, if this is good on the eyes, fucking I will buy every palette. <laughs> I'll buy every palette. This is holy shit. Okay, very happy, very happy. We're starting off strong. Good job. Good job me, what the fuck, whatever. Good job me. So I picked this one up at, <laughs> at Ulta. Look how, come on. Like this literally showed up like this. I was like, are you fucking kidding? All right, whatever, but who cares? It's cardboard, right? Throwing it away. I feel like Rosie O'Donnell with a fucking koosh ball just throwing it into the wind. So let's try to open this bitch up. Okay, so this is everything that you get in this collection. This is from NYX. And I don't know, y'all, okay, like my fucking, my heart skipped a beat when I saw this. I'm a Barbie bitch, all right? I couldn't help it. My nostalgia got the best of me. And you know what? I fucking regret nothing right now. <laughs> Look how cute this packaging is. Look how I'm just destroying it. Oh my God. Look how fucking cute. <gasps> it's a tiny butter gloss. Okay. <laughs> I feel like, oh my God. I feel like I sound like fucking Michaela. Make up All right. Let's <laughs> oh my God. Look how cute that is. Oh my God. I can't. I fucking can't right now. That is, I don't even want to use it. I don't even want to use it. That's so sweet. Oh my God. All right. Let's try to see. Ooh. Okay, pigment. I was expecting nothing, y'all. Let's just try this little shimmer guy over here. Okay, there's a, there's a little something peeking through. Maybe not the most pigmented bitch in the land, but you know, she's trying. Oh, you know what? Honestly, that kind of exceeds my expectations. I thought there was gonna be no pigment. Good job, Nyx. I'm gonna try my best not to swatch everything because again, it'll be a seven hour video, but um, I cannot help myself. But look at this tiny little butter gloss though. Oh my God, I can't even. I, my fucking, my brain hurts, okay? Love her. Look how cute, so cute. Again, we're just gonna rip open the packaging. This by far has to be the cutest Barbie thing to ever exist. You know, I thought like, okay, ColourPop did a really great job. No, no, ColourPop, you're fucking up. This is so, oh, bitch, bitch, this is so cute. I can't even, I, oh, hold on, I, I need to do that yellow, clearly. Oh, what? Okay, uh, you listen, you know what? I talk a lot of shit about NYX. This is fucking giving me everything. Oh, oh, she's so pretty and dainty. Okay, maybe, uh, right, hold on, let's see if we can build that one up. I talk a lot of shit about NYX. But so far, they're exceeding my expectation. Oh, yeah. Okay, you just got to build that bitch up. That's good. I'm just going to do this little hot pink number here. Because why the fuck not? I got to say, listen, I, I, again, zero expectations. This is very, very pretty. Very, very happy. And no staining. Fuck yeah. I love the fact that it's not going to look like somebody's shit on my pillowcase. Amazing. This is cute. 
By far, this is the cutest fucking thing I've ever seen in my life. And again, another little tiny butter gloss. Oh my god, stop it. It's so cute. You have a teeny tiny little face palette. Like, I mean, come on, look how fucking cute that is. This is adorable. Can this open? Can we not open it? Unfortunately, this is sealed with the jaws of life and I don't feel like breaking my fucking nails right now. But as you can see, there are two blushes and one highlighter that is like way, way too dark, but it's okay, it's okay. The eyeshadow palettes are making up for it and honestly, I can't wait to put this pink all over my goddamn cheeks. You also have more butter glosses as well as a matte lip cream, which I believe the matte lip cream should be like pink. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Honestly, I am so excited about this collection. Oh, real estate agent come through. Okay. That's fucking everything. Oh my God. This is, my name is Babs. Okay. My name is Babs. I live on the floor of a casino. I spend all my days at the slot machines waiting for nice gentlemen to treat me to the 99 cent buffet. I love this. Fucking love this. Okay. So there's a little slight stain. <laughs> A slight staining, so um, we'll 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 chill with the swatches for now. We also have another matte lip cream, which I believe should be a darker color. Yes, a darker pink. We have jumbo eye pencils, which looks so fucking good. We have lashes, which I don't really give a shit. But what's cute about it is, is that it looks like there's like pink in between the lashes. That's kind of cute. Too bad I don't fuck with lashes. And of course, the piece de resistance. This is the thing that I'm fucking excited about. It's a mirror. I. Okay, when I tell you I am living my fantasy right now, bitch, I am living my motherfucking fantasy. I am so excited. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> Oh, this is so fucking cute. And you know what? The mirror actually really isn't terrible. It's not terrible. Who the fuck would ever thought that NYX, NYX of all fucking brands, would come up with something this cute, but they knocked it out of the motherfucking park. And I cannot wait to include this in the upcoming video. So definitely check it out in the future. But this, my friends, is fucking worth $90 alone. <laughs> Oh, fucking buying back my childhood at a premium. Fucking love it. I got these from OPI. I couldn't resist. I love nail polish and this was just fucking speaking to me. But then I also got this one and then I got this one and then I got this one and then last but not least I got this one, which then they gave me this fucking thing. What do I do with it? I have no fucking idea. Do you think this is going to wrap around me? <laughs> no. <laughs> what the fuck am I going to do with this? But anyway, thanks for the gift with purchase, OPI. I love OPI nail polish, and I just love this whole fucking collection, and I cannot wait to paint my nails ASAP. And then I also got this, because why the fuck not? <laughs> I can, can I tell you, I, I don't know. Like I said, y'all, I'm in my feelings, okay? And the fact that this is literally reminding me of all those stupid fucking brushes that I would lose all over my house when I was a kid. And then one day I would fucking step on them and it would hurt like hell. This is everything that I want it to be. I fucking love this. <laughs> The only thing that's kind of a miss is I wish it says uh, Barbie on the back. That would have been cute. But you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Thanks, Tangle Tweezer. Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot I got these two. <laughs> Listen, I was in a fucking mood, okay? I have very short hair, so I don't know how much I'm going to get used out of this. Probably the little guy I will. This, uh, probably these two. This one I don't think I will, but whatever. We're going to fucking try it. Anyway, I never had anything from this brand before, and when I just saw this, I was like, <laughs> Bitch, I need to have it. Okay, that's all the Barbie stuff. I got some new hair care stuff. This is from Verb. This is a dry shampoo. I have a couple of products that I've tried from the Verb I've really enjoyed, and I'm hoping that this dry shampoo won't make me look like a fucking skunk. And because I have like blondish hair now or whatever, I decided to also get this. By the way, they beat the shit out of this box, but I wanted to try like purple shampoo and all this shit. Plus, I really love the uh, ghost oil. Ghost oil is fucking great. But I always wanted to try the purple shampoo. And I was going to buy a bigger one. But I figured, you know what? What if I don't like it? I found this nice little set. It gives me a little bit of everything. And plus, I know and love the ghost oil. So that kind of works out perfectly. But I can't wait to uh, try this guy out. And then moving on to skincare. I love Ola Henriksen. Ola Henriksen is fucking amazing. And I love the Goodnight Glow Bukuchio Sleeping Cream. The whole Transform line is so fucking good. This is probably like... I don't know, either my second or third of one of these guys. I love the shit out of this line. If you're someone that has dry skin, check this line out. I feel like it has done wonders on my fine lines. It plumps and hydrates my skin like a hot dog. Fucking obsessed. Anything from Ola Henriksen, I'm just in love with. They do no wrong. Now this I've never tried before and I'm always in the mood. Oh my God, you see how bad that pink stain is? <laughs> 
holy shit. Okay, anyway, I have never tried this hand cream out, so I'm really kind of excited to try. You know, it helps if it was actually open. I actually haven't heard anything good or bad about it, so I am going into this blind, and I'm hoping that this is everything that I want it to be. Like I said, everything that I've tried from Ola Henriksen has been pretty fucking amazing. But ooh, oh, this feels good. Okay. I don't even know why I'm trying to pretend that I could smell something. My fucking sinuses are jacked the fuck up. It just smells clean. <laughs> Take that information and run with it. It smells fucking clean. And to me, that's a good thing. Doesn't smell weird. What is this? Okay. <laughs> This is the Stay In Touch Restorative Hand Cream. This deeply hydrates and smooths with cloudberry oil and polyglumatic acid. That is a fucking mouthful. Super excited about this. But you know what I like about it is it's not greasy feeling. I hate when I have hand lotions that just makes my skin feel very, very greasy, where it just feels like I'm just like touching things and leaving paw prints everywhere. I hate it. This feels very, very good. And it's definitely nourishing um, this pink line situation that I have on my skin over here. Moving on to eyeshadow palettes, I figured, you know what? Why not try some good old drugstore? And this one from Essence just looks so fucking good. I have tried some Essence stuff in the past and it hasn't been my favorite. So I am um, going in with zero expectations. <laughs> but I just thought this color story was just so pretty and I think we need to touch it. We need to touch it. I need to touch that green right there. Okay, all right, all right. It's a little, I think not bad, not bad. Definitely not as pigmented as the NYX one for sure. Okay, okay, bitch, I'm listening. Let's try this nice little orange guy over here. Okay, you know what? This is not terrible. I could fucking work with this. <laughs> Essence recently released these, and I forgot, I think there's like maybe um, three of these types of palettes. The Cape Town one is so gorgeous, and you know, listen, I know, I know. This is a color story that I have fucking thousand times over, but I mean, I just, I can't, okay? Actually, you know what? It's kind of giving me a little bit of um, Urban Decay, Arizona Divorcee vibes a little bit. Just a little bit, just a scotch. Oh yeah, that looks better once you build it up. Okay, way better. I was scared for a second. I will definitely include this in a try-on video in the future, but yeah, super excited to try Essence. And this one I couldn't pass up. This is from e.l.f. They recently released the Perfect 10 eyeshadow palettes and this was the only one that was actually in stock. Everything else was out of stock. So I'm hoping, hoping uh, that this is as good as like my little bite-sized palettes that I love. Um, but anyway, this is a warm tone neutral palette. It's a basic bitch, but you all know me. I love my basic bitch palettes. So I can't wait to try this one out. The next products are the Infallible Blushes from L'Oreal. I have been like hunting these motherfuckers down and I just, I want, I wanted them all. I think they're all so really, really pretty. I haven't swatched them yet, so let's see if I can swatch them. Let me see if I can find something to open this without me getting up, you know, because I'm fucking lazy. Ooh, we got this bitch open. So this is 05. Oh. Oh, excuse me, ma'am. That's fucking pigmented. Okay, that's beautiful. You have 10. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's gorgeous. And here we have shade number 20, which... Uh, huh. definitely. This might be a little bit too deep for me, but we're gonna still try it out. Maybe if I go in with a lighter hand and kind of buff it out, it won't be uh, so bad. But I have to say these three I could definitely fuck with. This one is gonna be the odd one out, but we're gonna try it out though. But uh, I'm actually really surprised how soft this formula is and it's incredibly pigmented. Then of course I had to get the bronzer, which she is a little dusty. She's a little dusty, but whatever, we're gonna make it work. Oh, that's a nice color. Like that one, this is in the lightest shade, obviously, because I am uncooked chicken. This is in the shade Fair. And then last but not least, we have the Infallible Powder, which I heard really good things about this one as well. And I have it in the shade Porcelain, which, I mean, it's pretty fucking porcelain to me. I have been loving drugstore powders, so, ooh, it actually looks really good. It looks really, really good. Okay, I don't wanna put more powder on my hand. Let's just see how it goes. That's actually really good coverage. Oh my God, like you actually can't even tell that I had like a pink spot on me. That's fucking wild. Damn, bitch. Okay, this is good. I cannot wait to fuck my face up with that one. I'm actually really impressed that my hand doesn't look dry either. Thumbs up. I know, I'm a fool. <laughs> talking so much shit being like, I'm not gonna buy this. I bought it. Um, I, I was just really curious to try it. These are the two new products from Pat McGrath. One is the Extreme Highlighter Duo and the other one is just a blush. And I have it in the shade something. I don't know, something. <laughs> What is it called? Oh, Divine Rose, duh, no shit. Oh, these are cute. These are really cute. Oh, okay, ma'am. Oh, 
Okay. You know what? These feel fucking flimsy. I don't like that. I hate that this... <laughs> I feel like that was so obscene. <laughs> Just like jiggling it at you. Um, I don't like, <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this one. Watch this get me fucking demonetized. God damn it. Anyway, this is the Divine Rose. I really love the color of it. It is, um, a that was very rude. Of course, this is over a powder, so it, I feel like it looks a little bit funky, but not over powder. I'm just assuming that this is going to fucking stand out and be wonderful. And of course, the highlighter. I love Pat McGrath stick highlighters, so I'm glad that I came to my senses. <laughs> decided to buy this but there are two sides there's one that's like the bomb side which that's what the bomb looks like pretty pretty basically looks like food poisoning and then you have this side the fancy side which fuck me up bitch oh my god that looks so good all right i cannot wait to slap this all over i'm gonna say my asshole i can't wait to slap this all over my asshole also that straight up glitter bukkake because it is, my hand looks like I fisted Tinkerbell, like it doesn't look good. I then really wanted to try this because I heard really good things. This is from Urban Decay. This is the Hydromaniac Blush Glow Hydrator. I have it in the shade Wrecked. When this was announced, I was like, oh, this looks really fucking cool. And I'm hoping, let's try this hand since this one is like gone to shit. <laughs> I'm hoping that this is everything that I want it to be. Ooh, it's like a nice little soft like wash of color. I think that's gonna look really, really pretty uh, when I use like skin tints. Like that's gonna look really good. I like that. All right, we're gonna try this in an upcoming try on. Had to buy a backup of my telescopic lift because I am fucking obsessed. Lashgate who, it doesn't fucking matter. This is amazing. And I got it in the shade black brown. You know, I like, I go through spells with this product. Sometimes I'm obsessed with it and then sometimes I just don't pick it up. But lately I have have been playing around with this one, especially since I have been incorporating the new It Cosmetics concealer in my recent makeup routine, which I fucking love. This is really good. If you have redness in your skin, this is one, neutralizes the shit out of it. The only thing about this product though, that I would say is like a, ooh, is that it can sometimes be a little bit too much. It could be a little bit too heavy and could ultimately kind of like really mattify your face. So you gotta be a little sparingly uh, with this one. But, but I decided to buy a backup because I'm almost out of the one that I've been using. But uh, this is a good product and I get it in the shade Porcelain Beige. I'm not sure why I decided to pick this up. I have a feeling this is definitely, definitely not gonna work out for me. But you know me, I just, I, I literally get distracted by shiny things. And I was like, you know what? I really wanna try this color corrector. Now I have a feeling um, that this is going to be way too dark for me. And that this is probably meant for somebody that has light skin and not Victorian child skin. Oh yeah. I mean, yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this one. You know what? You know what? You know what? You know? No. Okay. <laughs> if I use any more product, it's gonna be problematic. I feel like. <laughs> um, okay. You know what? Yeah. Um, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna see, like, maybe, maybe I could use this under my dark circles because I've been getting a lot of those lately. Um, but doesn't it look like I have a bad tan? <laughs> like, it looks fucked up. I <laughs> No, I don't know how I feel about this one. Oh shit. Okay, we're gonna still try it though, um, because we eat our mistakes on this channel. But I have this in the shade Pink Pomelo, uh, which is the lightest shade. <laughs> you know what I look like? I look like the fucking old lady from uh, There's Something About Mary. <laughs> I look like a fucking leather couch. I I can't. I can't. We got we gotta wipe this away. Okay, that's a little bit better. Um, <laughs> we're gonna put a pin in this one. But um, yeah, we're gonna try it. <laughs> We're gonna try it. And I feel like this is gonna be a huge mistake. I can't wait. I am so excited to try this one. Okay, so this is from Janessa Myricks. This is the Yummy Skin Serum Skin Tint. This is the, literally, the time for skin tints, y'all. This was the one that I chose for me that works best for me. It wasn't the yellow option, so hoping that this is going to be a really good motherfucking match. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's actually pretty fucking good. That's pretty fucking good. Mama is very happy and this feels really nice. Shit. Redness who? Oh my god, this hand looks like old and shitty compared to this one. <laughs> this looks really good. I'm obsessed. I love it. Anyway, I cannot wait to put this all over my face. I'm kind of like iffy about some of the other yummy skin line, uh, but I definitely have been loving the blush bombs and the highlighters. So kind of hoping that this is going to be a home run, and especially considering it's Satan's asshole outside. I'm just trying to find really just lightweight options to get me through to not make me look like I am having a heart attack. So that's great. <laughs> 
So the next product is from One Size, and I heard really good things about the setting powder, but I'm very finicky when it comes to um, powders in general, and considering I've just been fucking obsessed and in love with uh, this CoverGirl one, but I wanted to try this one. I'm glad that the brand is selling little ones because it kind of gives me an idea of like, this is something that I would want to pick up in the future, but I mean, it looks, the finish of it looks really nice though. Anyway, I got it in the shade Translucent. I know there's um, quite a few shades in this. I'm hoping that I'm going to love this as much as I love their blush products. Their blush is fucking phenomenal. So I'm kind of hoping that it has the same properties, but anyway, I'm really excited to try this one out. So the next product I wanted to try was from NARS. This is the Light Reflecting Eye Primer. No, I'm sorry, Eye Brightener. <laughs> the fuck am I talking about? This is in the shade Night Swan. Ooh. I love the light reflecting line. I think it's one of my favorite foundations of all time. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. She's, she's, she's definitely a, a, like a more of a subtle brightening moment. She hold on. Let's try it on this hand. Oh, all right. It's a little bit yellow kind of leaning, but we'll see. We'll see how it looks under the eye. It's definitely brightening the skin. Well, not really. It's kind of like actually my skin color. <laughs> huh. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna test this one out. But anyway, I think that I love the light reflecting foundation. I think it's a fantastic foundation. That shit fucking lasts all day. I believe I'm on my third bottle of it. That's how much I fucking use that foundation. I love it to pieces. So I'm kind of hoping that I'm going to have the same kind of luck with this, but maybe not. But we'll try it in a future video. The other complexion product that I picked up is from Maybelline. I have been hunting for this for so long now. You have no idea. This is in the shade 110. This is the Superstay 24 hour skin tint. Okay. I mean, granted this is also on a bunch of other fucking products, but let's see. Not bad. Not bad at all. For a second, I thought it was gonna be a little bit too light, but I don't think it is. Try it on this hand for good measure. I have been, again, loving drugstore. This is gonna become a drugstore channel soon. <laughs> And Maybelline and CoverGirl and Revlon have just been fucking killing it for me lately. This is actually really nice. This is a really good match. Anyway, I'm gonna be doing a full face of drugstore soon. So expect this and all the other L'Oreal in a video soon. But like, this looks good so far. Although I will say that it kind of does look a little drying. So I don't know, it could also be the amount of shit that I have on my fucking hands, but it does look a little drying now over here. So maybe this might not be it, but whew, whatever, we'll see. Now, before I jump into lip products, because I got quite a bit, I decided to finally pick up the Natasha Denona Macro Tech Eye Crayons. Well, this came out with the Yucca palette, and I didn't even realize that this was a fucking thing uh, because I got way too excited. And I was like, oh my God, I just want... I just want the palette. Didn't realize that there was also eyeliners too. So I got the two that spoke to me, which this is the one called Fushi, which I want to say Fushi really badly. It's a very beautiful mustard yellow. And then we have Camu Camu, which I believe is supposed to be like a lime green-ish kind of a color. Sort of, it's like a pale yellow lime green. In the monitor, I feel like it's a lot brighter than it is in person. It's kind of a little bit more on the paler side, but still very, very pretty. And I cannot wait to put these in my waterline and ultimately feel like they are going to <laughs> just literally erase from my waterline. But um, the orange I have hope for. The yellow, not so much. I look like I have jaundice now. That's great. Um, but definitely the orange is uh, holding its ground. So I'm really curious to see um, how that's gonna do. Okay, we had to wash the hands because it was just getting too gnarly. Now moving on to some lip products. I wanted to try this from Glow Recipe. This is the Plum Plum Hyaluronic Gloss Balm. I love the pictures. It looks really nice. I feel like it's kind of be kind of very similar. Can I, how the fuck do you open this? <laughs> okay, fine, whatever. Uh, I feel like this is going to be very similar to my beloved Tatcha Kisu lip mask. Oh, she's fun. Oh, she's fun. Okay. Okay. Oh, no, this is not like Tatcha. This is definitely more of a bomb. Okay. And I ain't mad at it. You know, I, I hate this. <laughs> I fucking hate this. Oh, I don't like this. The fuck is this? this what is this? Uh, hold on, I need my Barbie mirror. Where's my Barbie mirror? Okay, maybe I don't hate it that much. <laughs> maybe I don't hate it that much. I guess I was expecting it to be, oh, I was like, oh God, what happened here? Fucking, I am such a dumbass. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh no. <laughs> it created a fucking protective barrier. All right, anyway, let's try this again. All right, I think people are gonna like this more than the Tatcha for sure. If you cannot stand the Tatcha Kiss You mask because it's too sticky, you're gonna like this one. It gives you, albeit it's not as shiny 
as the Tatcha. Okay, okay, I, I was I was a little strong with my opinion. I, I'm starting to like this. It's starting to win me over. I think I was a little scared. Change is scary, okay? <laughs> But this isn't bad. At first I thought it was like burning my lips. It's not. That's just my uh, mind playing tricks on me. This is fine. We like this one. This is cool. Okay. 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 <laughs> to play with this one but if you do not like the kissu mask because it's too sticky this is not sticky whatsoever and it does kind of give you the same kind of like hydration and shine although i will say i feel like tatcha takes it one step further because i feel like i could wear that shit all day and still feel incredibly hydrated this i feel like i'm going to be constantly applying this but this so far so good sorry i didn't mean to yell at you la recipe then we have an elf lip balm i'm excited to try this one which you know now i need to put this on my fucking face because now that i have that one on i need to see what this one's like oh my god look how cute this says it's adorable Ooh, is there a cup there is a little oh wow that is fucking shiny damn that is very shiny and not sticky ah oh, fucking plus oh i like this so much more than the fucking glue recipe fuck the glue recipe <laughs> that thing this is better and i think it only costs six bucks get this oh this is so much better bitch what was i trying to fucking make peace with the glow recipe get out of here bitch this is good get this one i don't even remember getting this one that's terrible <laughs> Okay, this is from Huda Beauty. This is a lip blush. Oh, this is a creamy lip and cheek stain. Oh, oh, should I do this? It's a fucking stain. Oh, it's gonna stain my hand. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, bitch. Okay, oh, that's gonna be fucking good in the cheeks. Oh, I'm I'm terrified though. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> We have something at stake. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay, maybe we won't put this on the cheeks. Fuck. All right, hold on a second. I can hear someone yelling, It's a fucking stain, idiot. And you know what? I know. <laughs> We all make mistakes, okay? Sometimes I'll read it and I just don't have the comprehension skills, okay? Holy fuckaroonie. All right, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's going, I look like I have a fucking chemical burn. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, listen, we're gonna, we're gonna figure this out. Why the fuck did I get this? Okay, we're, we're gonna play around with this later. <laughs> I picked up these two glosses. I love the lifter glosses. And these were the, uh, I believe like they were the candy ones. So you have it in gummy bear and peach ring. I'm not even going to try to, yeah, okay. I, <laughs> my sense of smell is really fucked up. I don't know what this smells like. <laughs> I'm hoping it smells good though. Um, but yeah, it's not, yeah, I don't know what that smells like. <laughs> but anyway, this is the peach one. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, that's a pretty bitch. We like her. Again, love, love, love the lifter glosses. And then here is the pink one. This is like almost like a, a baby pink. It makes me think of like fucking baby from the Spice Girls. I love it. Super excited to play with these in the future. And then last but certainly not least, I decided to pick up two more of the Sephora lipsticks. These just came out. Oh, they're matte. Why the fuck did I pick them up? Why did I pick these up? <laughs> I thought they were hydrating. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, anyway, so I decided to get matte lipsticks for some fucking reason. I have it in the shade uh, one and two. Let's see what this is gonna be like. Hi, can I just open you up, mama? That would be, that would be great if I can just open you up, because you know, that would be awesome. Oh, okay, why the fuck did I get this again? Oh no, that's, gr oh, I love that. I love that. That's a very pretty, you know what? Wait a second. Ooh, no, I like that. I like Mm, hold on a second. Oh no, I hate this. Why did I get this? Oh God, this is like, this is way too pale. <laughs> this is terrifying on me. Oh my God, it looks like I've been eating out of the toilet. Okay, we don't like that one. That's a bad one. Fuck, why? I hate buying lipsticks online. The colors are so fucked up. <laughs> It's like, you can't even tell if they're good or not. Okay, but the formula is creamy though, I will say that. This is number two. All right, ready? Breathe, breathe, breathe. Okay, this feels a little bit more my speed. This is more my speed, so I'm just gonna put this over the one. Okay, 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 we're back to life, we're back to life. Okay. This clear fucking winner. One, I don't, I don't know what the fuck I was smoking. Two, absolutely adorable, we love her. Oh God, okay. <laughs> This was a fucking wild ride today, okay? <laughs> I bought a lot of shit that I'm starting to question myself a little bit about. Fuck, okay. <sighs> Let me clean my hands up. Don't you love that stain? Yeah, I love it too. Okay. <laughs> Uh, anyway, all the stuff that I featured in today's video will be used in upcoming try-ons. I am scared. 
I'm excited. I am feeling all the emotions right now. My makeup dick is going up and down. Doesn't know what to do right now. <laughs> I'm just hoping that I didn't waste some money here. <laughs> but I have a feeling I did. I think the winner for today goes to the NYX Barbie collection because this is everything. <laughs> this was worth it. <laughs> but no, seriously, all the little stuff from this collection is fucking cute. Even the stupid lashes, even the stupid lashes. Anyway, now I would love to hear from y'all. Uh, let me know down below if you have any of the products that I featured in today's video or um, if there's something that you wanna see me uh, do a video on immediately, let me know because I love hearing from you. And of course, if there's anything that you wanna see me review in the future, let me know as well. Again, thank you so much to Factor for sponsoring today's video. And y'all, I wanna say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button at three and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram and Thread. And to my wonderful, beautiful patrons and YouTube members, thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting. Garbage butter float, couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious faces. And I just wanna gobble you all up so you live inside my belly. And we can be one. And we can all have little stains on our hands. It'll be great. If you want to know what's currently on my nails, I will put that in the description box down below along with all of these products. And um, yeah, keep on keeping on. See you on Friday. Bye.